Join us now for Inside Monroe College, a series of programs designed to look at the role of Monroe College in the provision of tertiary education in St. Lucia. The way, you know, everything is departmentalized, all the programs go through a rigorous process. Uh, an idea can be submitted by a student, by a faculty, to the department, uh, academic department. And the academic department refers to uh, the uh, department that is responsible for that area. So they do the research, they see the validity of the course, and uh, how does it uh, help the students, and then they after they decide and after they put all the details of the course, we have a committee called Academic Affairs. They put that through that, that the other departments and other people are there to assess to see if it is. Once that is approved, then it becomes the course or the program for the college. And then it is sent to New York State for approval. Once that is done, then all the faculty are given that information and uh, there is uh, some kind of training involved. All the outlines, all the materials for the courses come from New York and all the exams are prepared by the department with the input of the faculty. Now, if a faculty thinks for this course, for this campus, we may have to tweak the departmental exam because of the nature of the place. The department will get that information and they still have to approve for the faculty to do that. So a, a, a particular professor cannot decide, this is what I am going to do in my class. There has to be consistency throughout the department. So if a person starts a class with one professor, goes to another professor, it should be seamless. Because majority of the people that we have are working class, they may not be able to do full-time classes. So in a normal situation, a four-year degree takes four years if you are taking full-time class. But if you are taking part-time, it can take you five years or six years. Uh, so the persistence rate when we call, if a student starts, if by six years, if they graduate, they persisted in that program. So our uh, uh, retention rate from semester to semester is close to 90%. And that's excellent compared to what is happening in the United States with regard to retention. And our graduation rate also is close to 75 to 80%. So the students who come here are really committed and they really want to study. The biggest problem people have is finance. It is not that they are not able to concentrate. Some people go through, you know, there is a difficulty, spend and all. But the majority of the problem that we are experiencing is finances. The problem is after Hurricane Thomas, I, I think a lot of people lost a lot of things and the economy is, has not come back to life. Uh, it is doing well, but uh, people who saved some money, they had to spend it for other purpose. So we are trying to assist them with the scholarships, with the grants, with the uh, reducing and telling them you don't have to take four classes, take three, take two, based on your uh, ability. We, are all, we have also given over 30 uh, scholarships to the government for them to assist the students whom they think are deserving students to get a good education. And that is uh, over $300,000. You've been watching Inside Monroe College, a series of programs designed to look at the role of Monroe College in the provision of tertiary education in St. Lucia.